In this video we take a closer look at the Wii 710. Thanks for tuning in, my name is Henk. The straight up right now is shipping to the dealers, so it will be available very soon, within a few days. It seems to be that my friend and colleague Zelrik came up with this name. I haven't talked about this with him yet, but I found a posting of one of my other colleagues at We Knife and in this posting they thanked Zelrik for coming up with this name. Very nice that we is naming more and more of their models with a real name and not only a number but it is the 710 and I think straight up is a very nice suitable name for this model. This is a prototype I brought with me from Blade Show. We showed it there at the Wii boot and we got a lot of positive comments, reactions on this one. It's a thumbstud only opening knife. It's a very straight, squarish like design. It's a design with the very nice special grind line, grind. In the, a little bit like the 618 and the 601. So this is the 618, as you can see, just likewise grinding, also the long slim squarish like look, and this is the 601, the very first model of Wii knife. So, this is an in-house design, M390 blade steel, it is a big knife, the blade uh, measures uh, 3.9 inch or 9.8 centimeter, the handle measures 5 inch or 12.8 centimeter and the overall length is 8.9 inch or 22.6 centimeter and despite the length of the knife it only weighs 4.3 ounce or 120 gram it's a full titanium frame titanium pocket clip ceramic bearings ceramic detent and titanium hardware with the Wii logo. It's a flat grind and then in the blade a very nice groove as mentioned thumbstud only and then the very typical Wii grind The spine is completely round off, jimping on top, which is not very functional. It offers a little bit of traction. It 
has a choil, but not really. When you have very slim fingers with the tip of your finger, you could use it as a choil, but I would not recommend it. It's more a sharpening soil. The typical wee pivot. And then the wee logo is used as pattern all over the frame, the scales. And these offer very much, they, these offer traction. Very nice grinding lines, visible. Everything is round off and chamfered. Large pockets milled out on the inside. Lanyard attachment. And then a backspacer along the complete length. And then the stop pin is hidden in the backspacer. Here you can see it. The knife is incredible smooth, by the way. Pocket clip, lots of spring. I like a lot of spring and enough room. for the pocket. Steel insert, lock up 25%. No blade play of course. I've never seen a Wii knife with blade play and very smooth. Very well centered. And a very symmetrical edge. It seems so logical, a symmetrical edge, symmetrical grinding on the blade, but so many brands do a poor job on the symmetry, on the symmetry. M390 blade steel. <coughs> Some people don't like these thumb studs because they feel a little bit pointy although everything is round off. So I don't mind these thumb studs. Most of the times I put my nail against the thumb stud. And no problem at all, but I also can use the skin of the of my thumb and but maybe some people have a thin skin and it can be annoying, but I don't care. I don't mind. It's a very nice design. Very typical we and I think it's also very functional, very EDCable, but also for tactical use, very useful shape. Ergos, regular grip, very good. Drawcut grip, very good. Reverse grip, also pretty good. So, the Wii 710 straight up. A lot of color variations available. So I think for every everyone who likes this design, there will be a color combination available. The knife comes with the well-known pouch. The Wii pouch with the tool for the hardware, 
the silica gel, the business card and the microfiber cloth and it's sitting in a cardboard box. I will put links in the description box to some dealers and this one will go on a pass around for the European pass around group. So keep an eye on the European pass around group for more videos on this one. That's it for now. Bye bye.